G'day guys, Brad Clifton here for Australian Golf Digest. Now Cobra's making a bit of a splash this year with their dark speed technology. Pretty excited to say it's moved into their iron category now to tell us all about it. Matt Farley, this looks very, very schmick. Yeah, absolutely, and it does. Um, it's a nice pickup. It's a, it's a lovely looking iron. It's got that dark finish. It's, it's not a, a chrome finish. It's, it's not a, um, a coating. So it's, it's premium, right? It's, it's talking about um, aspirational golfers. Uh, you know, bearing in mind this product is probably designed for a, a 15 handicap plus or minus, but as golfers we're still aspirational. Uh, in terms of the tech, this is a really interesting one. It's, it's packed with tech. Good, consistent innovation through the range as we've touched on through dark speed. Um, the big thing comes down to the, the way this iron is constructed. You've got a, you've got a stainless steel cast body. You've got the, uh, the power bridge, which is attached in a single weld. Um, Aerojet, our, our uh, model last year, had the double weld. So you can imagine the single weld uh, offers a bit more face flexibility, which adds speed and performance. You then throw in the PowerShell face. So we've got CNC mill grooves, which are very precise, and you've got a nice workable 17.4 stainless steel face, which is that PowerShell face, right? So it's, it's incredible ball speed, particularly across the face, um, and promotes nice high launch. We've got the aluminium medallion on the back, and so there you're kind of sitting with a, with a hollow body iron. And as we know, if you've ever kicked an empty Milo tin down the stairs, the, the, you know, the, they don't sound very good, right? They don't feel very good. So how do we fix that? We inject a very light foam uh, into the body. Under additional heat application, the foam expands and it hardens. And that is what creates a lovely feeling and sounding iron. And that's probably the, the key takeaway this year is that when you, you hit this club, your numbers are great, your speed's out of this world, but the feel and sound are right there with it. So it's the best of both worlds. There's often a, a trade-off, and we, f we feel there's very little trade-off in 2024 with the dark speed iron. Now, there's so many options out there for the consumer. What's your favourite favorite aspect of this and, and why people should come in and give this thing a go? Um, I think it's, it's always going to come, come back to performance. I think the other key takeaway, again, feedback from our, our customers and our fitters with Aerojet was that Aerojet was fast, and it, and, it, and it was low spin. That's not always the best outcome when you're talking about iron. So what we've done here is we've, uh, we've jacked the loft up about half a degree, so we're able to, to increase launch and increase spin and incredibly increase distance. So I think, again, go and have a fitting, look at your numbers, look down at a dress, make sure you like what you're looking at. This is a, this is a lovely looking iron, both in colorway but also in presentation. Um, and then look at the performance. How far are you hitting it? Is that going to meet your needs? So very exciting time. It is exciting. You heard it here first. Make sure you go check out Cobra's new dark speed irons.